Today we're going to be talking about how to listen and take effective notes. In this chapter, you will learn how to be an attentive listener and take clear and organized notes. And before you become an effective note taker, you must become an effective listener. Attentive listening means you are fully focused on the intent to understand the speaker. You must know what they are saying and also understand them as well. Um, these are not just tools for school, but you can also use these techniques for college or your future career or even in relationships. The first thing you need to do is you must prepare to listen. Number one is be willing to listen. The first place to start is your intention. Prepare mentally by creating a positive attitude. Number two is to be open to new ideas. Um, you must be open to different point of views and styles of lecturing, so you must stay really open-minded. Number three is to position yourself to listen. You must find a lo location where you feel comfortable and be able to focus. And number four is to reduce your distraction. So while you're listening, don't do other activities such as texting, playing games, or doing su other subjects homework. And number five is show that you are listening. So when you're listening, your body language is very important. So you can show yourself that you are listening by leaning for forward to the listener and looking at them. The second thing you need to do is stay attentive. Number one is be quiet. Um, as a listener, our role is to understand and comprehend. You must be quiet while the speaker is talking. Number two is stay focused. Daydreaming is a major barrier to effective learning. So focus your intention, get yourself together, and bring your mind back to the present. Number three is show empathy, respect, and genuine interest. Focus on understanding the speaker's message and viewpoint. Number four is observe the speaker. Um, you must watch for verbal and nonverbal clues about what information is important. Number five, predict and ask questions. We sometimes get really bored while listening, so keeping yourself alert by predicting and asking yourself or your instructor question is a good idea, and it can also be a good way to interact with the speaker. Number six is to integrate learning styles and use all of your senses. For example, um, most of the people are a uh, visual learner. They visualize what their instructor is talking about. They imagine them as like a picture in their head. And they also draw why they're taking notes to make themselves understand more. And number seven is postpone judgment. So don't judge your speaker. You must listen to them with an open and curious mind. And you must focus on the message respectfully. Step three is to review what you have heard. Number one, paraphrase. Show that you understand the speaker by reflecting and paraphrasing. After you're done with your lecture, try to write a summary of the main idea and key points. Number two is assess. Evaluate how effective your listening skills are for recall. If there, if there is a misunderstanding or something's missing, you can ask a simple direct question with the intent to understand. And number three is practice with awareness. Choose one problem you want to work on and make a commitment to change. With this practice, you can improve your listening skills. This is the adult learning cycle. There are five things. Number one is relate. Um, why do you want to learn this? So simply ask yourself, why do we want to learn this thing? Number two is observe. So ask yourself, how does the note work? and Or how does their teaching work? Number three is reflect. So you must 
think like what does this note mean number four is do um, it is like what can I do with this note number five is teach so when you're done taking note who can I share this note with next is to recording the message um, when you are taking notes it is more than just simply writing down words it is a way to order and arrange thoughts and material to help you remember the information now that you prepared and have sharpened your listening and observation skill I would like to present you the effective way of taking notes the system is called the Cornell system of note taking the Cornell system is a great tool for reviewing and comparing notes for lectures and book you need to start with a paper and then label it with class date and a title of the lecture and then you divide your paper into three sections on the top right is has to be the largest section you need to record information from class lecture in whatever format works best for you and on the left you need to just jot down clues, main idea, phrases, keyword, or clarifications. On the bottom, you need to write a summary. This is an effective way to summarize each class section in your t into your own words. It's going to make you understand more about what the speaker is saying. Mind mapping also works as well. So a mind map is a visual holistic form of note taking. You can see like the whole thing. You can see the big picture, including connections to the main idea. Mind mapping start from the main idea. You place, um, when you're mind mapping, place the main idea on the center of the page and then ranges them out with subtopics through associations and patterns. There are two types of note taking. The first one is the formal or traditional note and the second one is the informal or creative outline notes. The format outline or note taking occupies all of your attention and you need to organize idea as well as record them. But they are too structured for the right brain dominant person. And it is also time consuming. In contrast, the informal outline such as the mind mapping system presents a creative and visual model. You can start anywhere on a page but it is too unorganized for the left brain dominant person. The last technique of effective note taking is combination note taking system. Effective note taker each has their own strategies. The strategies, some of them include highlighting main ideas, organizing key points, comparing and contrasting relationships, and looking for patterns. Our next topic is note-taking strategies. Number one, preview the material. Previewing enhances your note-taking and learning. In a sense, you are priming your brain to process information effectively and effectively. Also, preview your previous notes and connect what you have learned to the new ideas. Number two, go to every class on time. We have to invest in every class by showing up on time, prepared, alert, and ready to participate. Number three, sit up front. You will be more alert and will see and hear better if you sit in the front of the class. Number four, use all your senses. Note taking is more effective if you integrate learning styles and use all your sense. For example, if you are a visual learner, developmental pictures and use of your right brain. For example, using your color pencil to draw or illustrate. Number five, make note taking active and physical. Observe your body like how you sit and how you holding your pencil. Number six, link information. Develop associations between what you are hearing for the first time and what you already know. This will help you create lasting impressions. Number seven, reduce the essential. Jot down only the main points and keywords. Devise a system for note-taking that includes abbreviations 
and symbols which are maybe helpful when taking notes. Number eight, organize your notes. If you crowded your word, the notes will be hard to understand. Number nine, use note cards or fetch cards. They will help you integrate all learning styles. Try to use them throughout the day and reviewing before the test. Number ten, expand on notes from others. This will help you follow the discussion, organize your notes, and read the text. And the last one, use your electronic device. This can be a convenient way to store, organize, review, and share notes after class. But consider taking lecture note electronically only if it maximizes your learning. Getting the most out of a class lecture. Following some tips, if your instructor talks too softly, try to sit in the front. If you still can hear well, tell your instructor outside of the class. Talks too fast. You may have to speed it up and focus on writing just keywords. It's hard to understand because of his or her native language is different from yours. Just ask questions and be persistent until you do understand. Never allow time to ask questions. Try to contact him or her directly with your questions. Never addresses material from the text. They may be expecting you to read the text on your own, and is using lecture time for other topics. Try to ask the instructor if you should bring that up during the class or outside the class. Only lectures never write on the board or use PowerPoint. Listen to the verbal clues and nonverbal clues. Ask for samples that illustrate key points. Put a lot of content in PowerPoint presentation. If so, bring a copy to class and take notes on it. Look at the slide headings for keywords and phrases that the instructor speaks. Never follow the lecture outline or PowerPoint. Try to balance your notes with the key point from it and the instructor discussion. Seem to rumble and never gets into a point. You will have to be more proactive and ask clarifying questions and confer with your fellow classmates to put all the pieces together. Use this too many personal anecdotes that may or may not be relevant. This is a chance to connect personally with the instructor. Keep an open mind and resist the urge to ask, "Will this be on the test?" Only with feedback does a speaker improve his or her skills. Which in turn benefits the listeners. And our next topic is essays and review your notes. Hermann Ebbinghaus, a German philosopher, discovered that after only nine hours, you remember about thirty-six percent of what you just learned. At thirty-one days, the amount dropped into twenty-one percent. Thus, it is important to revisit your notes as soon as possible. Number one. Summarize in your own words. Summarizing can be done quickly and can cover only the main concepts. It will greatly increase your comprehension and learning. Number two, edit and revise your notes. Set aside a few minutes as soon as possible after the lecture to edit, fill in, or copy your notes. Number three, create a sample test. Ask yourself what questions may be on a test. And try to write a few sample test questions. Number four, use visual clues. For example, create a mind map of your notes to display the main points and their connections. Number five, review your notes. For example, review right before you go to bed because your mind is receptive new information at that time. Number six, monitor and evaluate. Try different system and strategies until you find the one that works best. Overcome obstacles. Effective note taking changes the information that you hear into the information that is distinctly yours. Not only is mastering this process essential to improving your study skills, but it is necessary job and life skills. If you don't listen carefully and take complete helpful notes. 
you have nothing to fall back on if your results are not what you expect. Taking note of special challenges. Number one, sit in the front of the room. Put yourself where you are forced to pay attention. Number two, use a binder instead of a traditional notebook. This will help you keep everything organized. Number three, put headings and dates at the top of all papers. This makes them easier to identify and organize. Number four, set up your paper in advance. Create a note-taking form that helps you focus on the main points of the lecture. Number five, cluster ideas as they are present. This makes your note easier to remember later. Number six, leave space between notes. Later, you can fill in the material you may have missed. Number seven, type your notes afterwards because they are more legible. Number eight, the last one. Clarify points with your instructor. Talk with your instructor outside of the class and go over your notes together. That's it for our presentation. We hope you learn how to be an attentive listener and take clear and organized notes. Thank you.